Hey everyone, how you doing? God bless you. Hey, listen, I just had a thought. I was connecting some passages here. I was thinking about John 14, verse 6, how Jesus said he is the way, the truth, and the life. So he's the truth. And he said, come follow me. So I was thinking about how in a sense, you know, there, you can look at that in different ways. And I really think Jesus meant it in different ways. Um, in one way, 1 Peter chapter 2, uh, verse 21 uh, Peter tells us that everything that Jesus did with the suffering that's described there and the few verses that follow in that chapter, um, even kind of pointing to Isaiah 53 and how he bore us, you know, our sins and, uh, you know, was a lamb led to the slaughter. Anyway, verse 21, he says, he did that as an example for us to follow. And I know it's very popular today to actually teach the opposite, to actually say, oh, you know, and this is the idea that Martin Luther taught. It's like, oh, you know, we sit in the bleachers and then we watch Jesus out on the field and he does everything. We put our trust in him in that way. That's not what Peter is saying. I encourage you to go back and look at this passage. In fact, if you'll notice, the whole five chapters of First Peter is really the role of suffering in a Christian's life. So, but here it says that with that Isaiah 53 picture of suffering that he bore our sins for us and stuff, that he did that as an example for us to follow. And if you'll notice when we're reading the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 5, 6, and 7, those teachings of Jesus call us to do that for other people. Even that when our enemies slap us on the cheek, that we turn the other cheek. And then we're doing this, it says, so that they might repent and turn. You know, that we're like a, a, a city, like, you know, set up on the hill and we emit its light so that those that see the light might glorify their Father in Heaven through repentance and, and so on. So anyway, so, but the other perspective is, like I started to say, is John 14, 6, is that when uh, he says he's the truth, and then throughout the gospel, he's calling everybody to follow him, he's basically implying, seek the truth, that he's the truth. And he's saying that that is the way, that is the road. I, he said, I am the way, the truth, and life, John 14, 6. Seeking the truth, follow me. Seeking the truth is the way. It's the narrow way that he says in um, Matthew chapter 7, you know, that's difficult, few, few find it, and that brought us the way that leads to destruction, and many are there upon. But the way is seeking truth, following Jesus, and that leads to eternal life. That's what he's talking about. I am the way, the truth, and life. So share that with y'all. Um, I know I haven't made any videos in a while. I apologize for that. I'm hoping to change that real soon. Okay, God bless you.